Aloha, it's Kiana, and today I'm going to be talking about your self-reputation. So, what is your reputation with yourself? When we think about the reputation of others, we think about, can I trust this person? Are they reliable? Do they do the things that they say they're going to do? Now, flip that on yourself. Do you trust you? Do you do the things that you say you're going to do? Do you keep your word with yourself? Or do you just expect yourself to bail because you've done it so many times? So why is it that we're able to show up for others but not ourselves? I can't tell you how many times I have told myself that I'm going to shoot a YouTube video and then I just don't, I just, so many times I've done that. And how many times that I've told myself, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm gonna go work out today and then I get lazy and stay on the couch and stay home and don't go to the gym. But if it was a big paper for school, I'll be up all night doing it. Or if it's a friend's birthday party, I'm sure as hell gonna make it to that birthday party. And I'm the type of person who is always on time, always early at work. So why is it that we can show up for others but not ourselves? When we don't show up for ourselves, there's this lack of respect. Not saying that you don't respect yourself, but that you are losing trust in yourself. When we tell ourselves that we're going to do something and then we don't follow through, we are losing trust bit by bit. And then we create this bad self-reputation within ourselves and we just expect ourselves to bail. So this is a difficult place to be when you don't trust yourself because you've labeled yourself as unreliable and you end up not doing the things that you say you're going to do time after time because you just expect yourself to bail. And it doesn't seem like a big deal, but trust me, it all adds up. But that's okay. We just need to forgive ourselves in the same way that we would forgive others if they have wronged us and start fresh and then hold yourself accountable in the future. We have to make it, we have to make our needs a priority for ourselves, for our soul, or else we're going to miss out on possible opportunities and then be left with that what if feeling and that is the worst. We need to work on repairing and rebuilding that trust with ourselves so that we see ourselves as reliable and we do the things that we say that we're going to do. To do that you need to commit to habits, practices, routines, rituals that are good for your overall well-being and stick to them even on days that you don't feel like, especially on days that you don't feel like it. Listen to your needs and discover new ways of meeting those needs. It is okay to lose track and get off focus. Just remember to forgive yourself, start fresh as many times as you need, and keep moving forward. This is something that I've been working on, is making myself a priority. Not letting my ego blind me into thinking that I'm not a reliable person, that I don't do the things that I say that I'm going to do. I'm proving myself wrong. I need to remember that I am just as worthy as being shown up for as anyone else. So you are just as worthy as being shown up for as anyone else. So stop pulling no-shows on yourself. Do the things that you tell yourself you're going to do. Your time is valuable, so do what you want to do in life. When your ego is telling yourself that you are lazy and you don't follow through with your plans, prove yourself wrong. Prove yourself wrong. For six months straight, don't give up on yourself. Do the things that you say you're going to do. Six months is really all you need to transform yourself into a better version of yourself. So I want you for six months straight, stick to your word, do the things that you say you're going to do, and see where that leaves you. You are the only person who can bring your dreams to life. So make it happen. All right, this video is over. Go love yourself. Go spread aloha. Mahalo.